Hi. Hola. Hi, here is Mr. Dose. This is Michael Bradley. Hey, I'm Memphis. Hey. Hola. Hello. I'm here with Soccer.com. 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 And I'm talking with my friends at Soccer.com. See you soon. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review of the brand new Nike Nike Grip Strike Socks. Now, I didn't misspeak. They actually did put Nike in the name twice, Nike Nike Grip. Uh, but nonetheless, these are socks that a lot of people have been very, very excited for, mainly because of the existence of these. These are, of course, true socks. I'm sure you guys are familiar with them. They are the socks with these gray rubber pads on the outside, as well as on the inside that span basically the entire bottom of your foot, as well as the heel area. And basically what those pads do is they grip your foot and they grip the inside of the shoe, really eliminating a lot of slippage that you would otherwise have in a normal pair of socks. Of course, they retail for $40, so they're fairly expensive, but they really do work and feel very different from a regular pair of socks. Now, with the new Nike Nike Grip sock, um, a lot of people are anticipating this product to be very much like true socks in terms of what they do, and perhaps to a certain extent in how they feel. And I'm gonna be comparing the two products throughout this video, so if you wanna learn a little bit more about the differences, stick around and listen to what I have to say. But what I will say right off the bat is that the Nike Grip socks and true socks are two very, very different products in terms of how they feel and ultimately how they perform. They aren't really the same thing. They're in the same category, but not the same thing if that makes any sense. And I'll explain myself in this video. If you guys are interested in some Nike Grip socks, you can check out the very first link down below in the description. That's gonna take you to the review page on my website where you can pick up the uh, Nike Grip socks in the crew length where they retail for $28. So. Uh, $12 less than true socks, so they're a little bit cheaper, but still relatively expensive as far as socks go. Or you can get the full length over the calf variation for $36, and they're available all in several different colorways. So again, if you're interested in a pair, first link down below, go ahead and check it out. And with that being said, let's get right into my review of the new Nike Grip socks. When it comes to actual performance, I can definitely say 100% Nike Grip socks are better than regular socks. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, in comparison to true socks, they're very, very different because they don't feel like true socks at all. They aren't meant to feel like true socks. They're actually meant to feel more like regular socks. At least that's what Nike has told us in their press release where they explain the engineering and development process, which we're actually gonna go over because it helps to explain what this is all about. And I think it'll give people more realistic expectations given the name and the hype around this particular product. So um, I've been wearing these for the last two weeks or so, and I can say 100% at this point that I do prefer these over any regular sock in comparison to true socks. Again, it's a completely different product and I'm gonna get into which one perhaps might be better for you a little bit later in the video. Um, I've worn these with soccer shoes, I've worn them with running shoes, trainers, even basketball shoes, and basically what I've done is I've gone back and forth between these and regular socks just to see what the difference actually is. And I will say there is a difference, but the difference is very, very subtle. You're not gonna put these on and immediately feel like, oh my gosh, I've been missing out on something for so long, why didn't this product come out two, three, four years ago? Uh, it's just not gonna have that effect on you. It's better than a regular pair of socks, but only just a little bit. So the, the engineering process, basically the story goes like this, and this is what Nike has told us. They started developing a grip sock concept, something like True Socks, a competitor, if you will. And they started off by implementing silicones and rubbers, grippy elements you wouldn't normally find in a pair of socks. And the feedback that they got from a lot of their athletes, and of course Nike has a lot of athletes to test these on, is that a lot of them preferred the feel and comfort that you get from a regular pair of cotton socks. So with that in mind, they went back to the drawing board and focused on making socks that were comfortable, fit extremely well, had that more kind of traditional, familiar feel, if you will, but at the same time, added that grippy element. So what they did is you can see all of this black and white area on the bottom of your foot. This is a brand new kind of fiber, I guess, that Nike has developed. It's an ultra fine uh, polyester fiber where the concept is 
that it's supposed to increase the surface area between your foot and the sock, as well as the sock and the inside of the shoe. The best way to explain this is, uh, if you've ever seen the Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire, when he first finds out that he can basically grip stuff with his fingers and he climbs the wall for the first time, he looks at his hand and all the little kind of spider spikes come out of his fingers. I'm not sure exactly what to describe it, but all those little um, spikes coming out of his fingers created contact points, which is what allowed him to climb up the wall and which would allow a spider to actually climb up the wall. There's lots and lots of little contact points. They explain it by a gecko, which would have a similar concept. But basically what they've done here is they've developed this ultra fine fiber that if you feel it with your fingers, it's a little bit more rough. It's not quite as soft as you might expect, but it doesn't really feel abnormal. And when you put them on for the first time, it doesn't really feel abnormal either. The sock grips your foot really nicely. Does it grip the inside of the shoe that well? Maybe a little bit better than a regular pair of socks. Actually, definitely a little bit better than a regular pair of socks. But again, nowhere near the amount of grip that you're gonna get from these gray pads on a pair of true socks. But again, true socks don't have the comfort and kind of familiar feel of a regular pair of socks either. It's kind of its own standalone product. So if you like the feel of regular socks as opposed to something like true socks, the Nike Grip Sock is probably something to consider. So what I have here laid out on the table is two pairs of the crew sock length variation just at different angles so you can see what it looks like. Here's the bottom of the foot basically all the gray, uh, the black and white area with a little bit of volt yellow, that's gonna be the most heavily padded area going across the bottom of the foot. And then of course at the heel, you do have some of this material as well. And like I said, that is the grippy material. You can see when you flip the sock inside out, like I've done right here, a lot of that material is exposed on the inside as well. Although it's not quite as significant. Um, you're gonna find that uh, you have this little branding right here. You can see the number four, which is the size, and then R, they're labeled right and left, are obviously standing for right. Um, and basically the, the number four is their new sizing system. They made the sizing increments a little bit smaller. So instead of small, medium, large, extra large, I believe it goes one through six. Four is technically for a size 10 to 11 and a half US. I wear generally a nine, nine and a half shoe, um, and these fit me pretty much perfectly. So. Um, there are size charts on websites. A lot of websites even have them listed as small, medium, large still. As long as you order what you would normally order, just go by the size chart, you should be okay. Um, you can see on the side profile here, you do have a little bit of ankle padding right there. Here's the front of the sock. Uh, you can see that across the top of the foot, it's thinned out right here in the midfoot, but a little bit more padded right here in the forefoot area. The seam across the top of the toes is really small as well, so you don't feel that, which is really nice. Um, and then again, you guys saw the inside of the sock. You can see on the crew sock length, you do have this little pattern here at the top, which is gonna be consistent with all the different colorways. The only thing that is going to vary are the colors themselves. And then if you do opt for the full length soccer sock over the calf variation, it's the exact same sock. It's just longer um, extending from the ankle, obviously. So um, basically what you're gonna notice when you put these on for the first time is they fit really well. Um, the way it wraps your foot is better than any other pair of socks that I've personally ever worn. Given that you get the right size, there's really no extra um, material hanging off anywhere. And I'm gonna flash an image on screen or a little clip on screen of me actually wearing the socks just so you can see how they fit. Uh, but like I said, in comparison to any other pair of socks, these fit better than pretty much anything that I've tried. And that's one of the big things that I noticed when I went back to wearing a regular sock during the testing process. Um, as far as the actual grip is concerned, again, it is noticeable when you go back to a regular pair of socks, but if you're going from regular socks into these for the first time, the difference is not as noticeable as, again, I think a lot of people will probably be expecting with the product and given the Nike grip name um, and the marketing behind it. So again, not like true socks at all. This is really how I would recommend this product over something like true socks or vice versa. If you're somebody like me, that already has shoes that fit particularly well. You don't really feel the need to have that extra grip that something like True Socks might provide. You just want kind of maximum comfort and a quality pair of socks. Then something like a Nike Grip Sock might be better for you. Honestly, based on how my shoes fit, pretty snug, really don't feel the need to have that extra lockdown. Something like True Socks is just not something that I feel the need to wear all that often. And in comparison, I just prefer to wear something like this, even though technically it's not giving me the same performance benefits as a pair of true socks would. I just find them a little bit more comfortable. Whereas if you're somebody who does feel like your shoes don't fit you quite the way you'd like them to, 
or you just want that maximum lockdown, that maximum responsiveness, something like True Socks, while it may not be as comfortable as these, definitely will give you that, I guess, performance edge, if you will, that you really can't get from any other product, even with the existence of Nike Grip Socks. So that's kind of the best way to describe it. They aren't really the same type of product. True Socks is a standalone. Nike Grip is kind of an evolution of the traditional sock, if you will. Better than a regular sock, but not something that is going to be groundbreaking in terms of outright performance. All right, guys, that is it for my review of Nike Grip Socks. I know that they are a little bit confusing to explain, but hopefully I was clear enough in this video that you have a pretty good understanding of what these things are all about. I know there will still be plenty of comments asking what is the better buy, Nike Grip Socks or True Socks. And like I explained in this video, they're two entirely different products in terms of how they feel and how they perform. It really just depends on what you're looking for from a pair of socks. That's going to determine which is the better product for you personally. So if you guys are interested in a pair of Nike Grip Socks, be sure to check out the review page on my website. That'll be the very first link down below in the description of this video. On that page, you will find Buy It Now links for all the currently available variations of the Nike Grip Sock. So again, go ahead and check that out if you're interested in a pair. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.